We hear about agents and even autonomous agents. How different is this from a program? By autonomous agents, we understand systems that can uh, iteratively perform certain actions. They can sense the environment, they can set up plans, and then they can execute and act on the environment, collect back feedback, and do all this iteratively. So that's what makes it different from a typical program. The concept existed since the 70s, but what's interesting is that only recently we found a way to make them uh, really autonomous by providing LLMs. So in this case, LLMs can be used as a brain for this type of agents, can actually plan for them, can collect and analyze the feedback that agents receive from the environment. Can you give us situations, example, where you've seen, we've seen, those autonomous agents in action. So again, this is a very, very new development, but uh, we can think of using autonomous agents to control other software. For example, autonomous agent can create configuration files, can launch software, can receive the results from those, uh, from the example, from the computations done by other software, can analyze them, and in, if it doesn't like it, change again configuration and run it again. So in some sense, it can replace a lot of human work and becoming really an agent. It's both fascinating, but also a bit scary. Do you think there's a line we should draw somewhere to protect society, mankind? One is we need to prevent autonomous agents from being able to modify itself, right? To sort of change its own code, change its own program. And the second point is we want to limit the ability of the agents to do goal settings. We still want human to control overarching goal. Any other technology that has been created so far has been capable of spreading intelligence, transmitting intelligence. This is the first time we created technology that can create intelligence. And this can be a little scary.